All right, take a look. Have you seen him? This is a handsome duck. It's becoming somewhat of a celebrity and drawing eager spectators to Lake Michigan's shoreline. I can see why. It's a mandarin duck and they're not commonly seen here in Wisconsin. Mary Jo Ola went to see what all the excitement is about. Look past the mallards and you'll see one bird that doesn't quite fit the rest of the flock. John Casper captured this video of a mandarin duck near South Shore Park in Milwaukee last weekend. It was like hitting the jackpot, absolutely, yes. John has been bird watching for years. This particular duck has other birders and neighbors talking and posting stunning pictures and videos. When you're an avid birder to see something that's a brand new bird, you know, something that is very rare to the U.S., let alone here in Wisconsin, uh, it was it was a thrill. This vibrant duck is usually found in Eastern Asia, with some in Western Europe, California, and Florida. The Wisconsin DNR believes the one spotted in Milwaukee is unlikely from the wild and more likely a captive bird that escaped a zoo or private collection. On Thursday, we were on Mandarin Duck Watch, but instead saw bird watchers show up hoping to catch a glimpse of the fella in Wisconsin. You know, two days in a row with nothing. <laughs> I was describe it as like adult Pokemon. <laughs> you just kind of go out and searching for new ones and new ones and new ones all the time. Andrew Nordstrom was one of them. He really got into birding during the pandemic. Have you seen him at all? I haven't seen him. I talked to a couple of other birders that were down here that saw him yesterday. They said this is where he was, so I'm on the right track. Andrew says the journey is part of the fun. It's just all the more sweet when you finally do. Sadly, photojournalist Renisha Donson and I did not get to see the Mandarin duck ourselves, but I'm told with birding, it's just hit or miss. You never know. Hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of it next time. In Milwaukee, Mary Joel with TMJ4 News.